Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3, of course, as is evident by the map with the Fallen Eagle mod installed. We are still King Amp, but I have let time skip by a bit. Why? Well, as you may remember, there was this Peasant Rebellion, it triggered, and I have defeated them, and now I'm just quickly making sure that we get control back. So that is why I thought, eh, Peasant Rebellion, you're not going to be very interested to in seeing that yet again, so I will take care of it. No worries, you will have a nice little episode without uppity peasants breaking out. And, uh, well, what is also happening is that I am being offered a concubine over here. Um, to the implacable King Herb of Pickland, I think Captain Victoria would serve you as a concubine. Captain? This was what my thought was, and then I just noticed, oh yeah, apparently she is a nice scene, she hates people, and she is dying. So I don't think this is gonna be very well, but hey, I gain a further opinion of him, which is probably why he's doing it. But I'm gonna have to decline because that lady might even murder me in bed. Uh, you almost have the money to pay for your ransom. Excellent, excellent. And uh, right now I'm feeling pretty darn good. Why is that? Well, my son over here got himself a son. Unfortunately, he is sickly, so I am afraid he's gonna die. But alright. He also gained himself an alliance by marrying out his daughter with uh, this old dude. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, my son over here not yet has not yet gained himself a uh, another interesting person, but uh, I cannot unfortunately get this girl to marry anyone that I have within my holding. Um, actually, maybe I can. There's a grandson over here. Uh, you are 10, he is 4, that's a little bit a ways away. I simply can't do it, and that is a bit of a mm, thing that irks me, because I do hope that he realizes that he should do that matrilineal, and I'm not sure uh, if he will. She is pregnant, so and uh, seeing he hasn't got any concubines, this will be of our family line. Whoa, hey. I've made sure that these balls are currently being taught by a right pictures lady. And I'm also going to do that now with this one, uh, even though that is actually officially a one of his culture, because that one was obtained with the concubine. Uh, I'm also happy to report that this lady, after taking her own rel our religion, he, she has managed to convince her son, and now I'm telling her that son that I will teach his daughter, hopefully, to become Pictish. There's a lot of good things coming about here, and hopefully this will also be a beautiful baby. That's all I can hope for, as time runs down very, very quickly, and oh, I hit the button twice. Of course, as soon as I record, things go awry. I die. I have way too many land. Well, first and foremost, I already know who I'm going to give it to. That is this man, because he is a right Pictish lord, and I think I... And he may have a claim, yes, sir, Bob, on the Isles, but I can at least get myself some alliances here. Uh, this is already done as an alliance internally, which I don't particularly enjoy, because if my son dies, we have a serious issue. Which is why I may need to break this betrothal. Uh, yeah, uh, smart was, was a different thing to do. Uh, oh, 19, and a genius, or I could just disinherit her. That is also a possibility, of course. <clears throat> uh, let's first go with Chivalry Focus, so that we can go with Loyalty and Respect. There we go. Uh, we still have something to gain here in forms of control, so that is a bit of an issue. Um, we need an extra concubine. You can pay for your ransom. That's actually pretty neat that you can do that. Not endorsed by my high shaman. Well, we can... With that goal that's coming in, we will host a feast and get that done. Let's get the council positions done. This. 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 Uh, we should be able to get an alliance with you. But first... Uh, well, I, I've married her out already. And then this one can be married out for an alliance. Kingdom of Saxony. It's not a very strong alliance, but I will take it. Alright. 
And then we're gonna say, hey, do you want an alliance? And he says, yes. You still have your wards? Yes, you do. Uh, it doesn't mean that this man girl lost a ward but i also noticed that his wife is pregnant so you never know what's gonna happen there and we can take an alliance with you excellent my baby brother here you are not yet of age and you are automatically allied to me apparently uh that's pretty cool uh we should be allied to you at the moment yep welcome friends and we should be able to take an alliance with you just to stabilize the realm. Alright, that is also done. Excellent. So we do have an alliance now outside of our realm. Wonderful. Uh, let's try and sway you. And I think we have a... Minus 30 for being at peace. We should be able to handle that pretty quickly. I don't really want to give away any territory. Why? This is one duchy. And this is a duchy, but moreover, this is a feudal realm. If I put my capital over here, all of a sudden, we would be feudal. Awesome. I'm gonna wait, however, of course, with waging war until I'm able to uh, make sure that everything else goes fine. Oh, there's a lot of peasant rebellion. What's the issue? Popular European foreign culture. Uh, the merchants should still be in town. We have enough money. That is a huge... Ah, uh, it's being recalculated. So this is a populist revolt, and this is some... Um, oh, he wants to put his baby brother on the, the thing. Uh, let's do this, so that our vassals like us a little better. Rally the troops, and we are now at war, all of a sudden, because we have the Northern Army Conquest. I almost want to say as per usual. Uh, of the Northern Isles. I wonder where he's gonna drop his units. We have cash, hold on. I probably want to get in some mercenaries. Uh, darn, uh, nope, they are available. I would like to get bowmen because they tend to do very well against these type of things. Bowmen, and of course, I will call them on my ally. And I need to take a concubine because otherwise I'm in trouble. Uh, a concubine that is... Sure. Not gonna enjoy it, but it's, mm, still under concubine limits. Until next time, 150 prestige. Don't die on me. That is the main thing. All right. Oh, and there's an enemy also joining the war. Somewhat unfortunate. Uh, no, we will definitely mm, fight them. Um, boy. The problem is, I don't know if I would love for them to land on my army, but only if my full army is there, and I don't know where they're coming from. He's called in several allies, actually. Um, now I have bowmen as well, special soldiers. Where are you at? Logan in Vastmaland. I don't know how to type that if it has that character over it. Oh, let's go to capital. Fine title. Ah, thank you. You are so kind as not to... They are still quite far away away. I should not have hired the mercenaries just right now. But it does give my ally a chance to arrive and already plant his army on top of mine. <laughs> but I don't like that he has actually called in an additional 2,000 troops. That is mostly worrying to me. Uh, but it should... Should... Make sure that we are... Yeah, we do not have the at peace problem now. Alright. Where the heck are you? Are you not moving towards me? I highly doubt that that is the case. Call a hunt. No, won't do that. Uh, sure, you can become callous. Wow, Raffle and callous. You are not a nice girl. Why 
where are you, Northern Army? Where have you all of a sudden decided to land? County corruption, yeah, because of low control, but I can't really work on that as we're working on another one right now. Heck, we may have to switch to Dread and Serve the Crown again. At least Serve the Crown should be a good one. What's the other one that we were, we're about to get? Peacemaker. Hmm. Not as important, I think, at the moment. There they are. Uh, don't even do that. Raise everything. Threatened. Well, we, they didn't land on the island now, but... Oh, boy. Uh, this is a lot of troops. Because I could attack here and win it easily. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. Because they have this minus 30 penalty. Which is really helping us a lot to do... To the winsome? Oh! Okay, our chief... Our high chief Urad has been slain. You, who started a rebellion against me. And you have a daughter. Um... Uh, that is pretty. Uh, yeah, your woman, you flatter me, my lady. That's fine. But that's interesting that he died. Oh, we barely win this battle. Charming. Still sickly, but he is growing older. Hopefully he will survive. That's so badly needed for us. Oh, we won it. But my beautiful brother is dead. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Does that actually cause me to get a claim? No. Who is your next in a line? My my own son and heir. Okay. Empty council position. Why did that happen? Oh, because your mother died. Alright, well, you are then on the throne. Uh, this is a boy that we really need to teach to become Pictish. Not willing to do that yet. Hold on here. Oh, we already won! We just annihilated the army. Yeah, why they they get a ton of money and we get nothing from that. I find that a little annoying. Enforce the mounts. Oh boy, well uh let's get served the crown. Oh, you are such an easy target right now. Hold on. I wanted to attack Andil. Apparently I misclicked. Um, I want to conquer your county. We should have more than enough men to do that. We fought that off. Actually, I should take the last little piece of, of that. But hey, uh... Papa over here, if he dies earlier, I don't mind. And I say Papa because he's married to my daughter, but yeah. Uh, five months to go. I don't need that five months, thank you very much. Select. Uh, point is I want to leave the army that's attacking. No. Thank you. I will leave this. Because I think that gives me a little bit more prestige. And seeing we have all kinds of chivalric focuses, that should be fine. There we go. Ransom you for another 30 gold. And you don't need to walk away. Just stand there and, and get some troops. And you landed 600 men right on my face. That is a bad idea. Duke? Uh, darn it, he didn't... He, he converted culture, yeah, but he didn't convert to the culture I wanted. This boy's at least Pictish, 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 Pictish. We are trying, trying still to get everything done. Uh, oh, you lost your capital. 
Oh, you, your mother was not didn't die, was deposed. Okay. And died from her wounds. All right then. That means my daughter is now free to marry who she wants to marry. That is a good thing. Uh, by age? Yeah, the niece is a, indeed a viable option. Otherwise, it would be good, for instance, to get ourselves more smarts in the family. For an additional alliance. But the niece isn't bad because it would just unite Lance again into our family line. Mm, 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 mm. The six-year-old, that's... There's no genius to be had, right? No, everything is old, way too old. So, the six-year-old over here... Let's put her on interest. Let's put... Uh, Armin Yuck. Oh! Oh no, it's the Pontus. I thought for a moment this was not Galia. Then these are the ones that interest me. Because I don't think... Uh, this girl would even... Uh, well, actually, she's Hellenic. She's not... Uh, she's not Nicene. That's probably why it would uh, be accepted as a marriage proposal. Uh, long houses built. I don't need to call on you. That's really fine. But yeah, I'm glad, actually, my father died the moment he did. Galbridden as he was. Because uh, I think... That's a think, I'm not sure, that the Britannia title wasn't surrendered yet by this man because he was for the longest time, in the start, still at war uh, alongside the, the King of Galia, who has now also died, because she, and now the sister of this king, are married to one another. Right now, he still hasn't surrendered the title, and to be honest, I don't mind, because it keeps our titles together. He loses the trade sickly! Mmm, yes! So this is probably our sole heir, because this woman, A, hates me and is very old. This woman is not very old, but is old enough not to get any children anymore. 46, old enough, um, could get one more child. Could. Wouldn't advise. Wouldn't want. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't mind if it is a daughter, but uh, now that we have one boy, everything will be inherited by him, and there will be no problem with that again. Thank you so much for just giving us another free goal. Because that's basically what you just did to me. Flamboyant trickster. Uh, 16 year old, has an inheritable trait, and it would give me an alliance of 81 men. Oh boy. How about new for the inheritance and yeah, oh, matrilineal? Would be accepted matrilineal. Would give us an alliance with somebody with a 15. Now that is an alliance. I will take that. There we go, now that is an alliance. So we have two alliances outside of our borders, and we have several ones inside of our borders, which should guarantee pretty much the stability uh, around here. And we are actually have a hook on her. We can't negotiate an alliance at the moment. I thought we could perhaps because she was family, but that's apparently not the way it goes. Why are we losing so much? We're still under concubine limit. Yeah, maybe we should wage a war for raiding women. Raiding prisoners, like on the Isle of Man, just declare a war for raiding prisoners. That's a C special CB that we have. We could, of course, do it on Galia, but I'm not sure if I want to fight 3,900 men. Because that could be a dangerous sliding slope. I'm just going to wait for this. No, unfortunately. I had hoped that the attack would come so that he would basically suicide his man on our army and heck that would give us a way to get possibly a nice capture and thereby money you are a pretty freaking good leader you have no stewardship but that's not why i'm granting you this besides grand vassal 
now I've made this duke happy. And picked land is even more united. You are Pictish, right? Yes, despite the fact that you don't rule over Pictish there. But the other counties you hold are Pictish and your lands will be very much divided afterwards. Um, the funny thing also is, is that we here we have Britain culture. If I had a lot of prestige, I could switch the capital here. Make myself feudal, go Britain, get elective, get this to never go away from me because I'm the only one that holds land in it, and then the only title that is... Uh, and then I have but one county that is not among this elective, our capital, county of uh, Breinig. And that will be inherited always through Gavokind towards my firstborn son. I would have no more problems with the inheritance because six counties is definitely the max that we can hold. Because we're already way over it right now, I don't even dare and want to know what is going to happen later on. You are a ruler of Ulster, but you two have not had children. Uh, yeah. Epity. I've actually... That's you, and I've given your, your uncle this, these lands. Alright. Well, there's a chance that their family line will, will go... F uh, stay alive. If that is the case, then that's the case. The Isle of Man. Do we want to raid you? Oh! Oh, you just captured her. Okay. Or raid our old ally Knacht. Um, Frisia, you seem to have lost uh, uh, some land. Yep. Galia is uh, going strong. Because the, the one that I'm thinking about is... Uh, oh no, that's tributary. I'm also surprised that you have now permanent tributary. Instead of temporary tributary. And what is the advantage of one over the other, actually? You will claim it as a tributary. You will claim it as a tributary. This feels weird. There's no difference. There's no raid neighbor for... Or do we... Uh, subjugate a oh, raid captive against Carrick. So, possibly only... Perhaps next door neighbors are allowed to have that. That could be a thing. You know what we also should capture is this land. Because it is Pictish. This is a thing that we do need to capture. I feel that is appropriately and should be ours. Uh, oh, promote culture is done. In your own county. Well done. Um, if you would please do it over here. Because this man did change to Romano Britain. But now we can make him change possibly to Pictish if we change that culture. And after that we should probably look into going here and then into this duchy. Alright, raise the local army. It's the only place where we can raise them. But hey, that is besides the point. Go here. Did I actually increase... No, we never increased them to maximum size. Thank you for looking there, Beta Plan. Oh, no problem, Beta Plan. I was ready to help you. It's so nice, Peter Plan. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, a thousand men, but we're still gonna win down, hands down. Actually, who is the leader of this? I'm not the leader of this battle. Should have been. Should have been. There you go. My prisoner has died. Yeah, but you're of the Peasant Rebellion. The one that I smacked down off camera. Man, this is really good. I mean, just one air? Oh, oh boy. That's really nice. Uh, inheritable. Age. I like intelligence, don't get me wrong. The funny thing is that if you click on this... There's a little green arrow here, and it says, as both parents have this trait, it will will get inherited. The trait might intensify, resulting in intelligence. Whereas I would marry her, the, uh, okay. Marry her, nothing is guaranteed that it, 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 both are might inherit it. Sometimes it feels like it's better actually to inherit somebody with the same trait than it is for one that is a, above a certain level. 
So I'm also considering this girl. Which... Hold on. How are you related to the Isle of Man? Your mother has a claim on that? Man and Ulster. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you are, might be the one that I marry. Uh, I cheated on Alt Clut. Is in there? Okay, why is that? I assume then... No, they're just... Why? You are indeed at the High Chief of Wild Clues. They all are. Do I, I prefer intelligence. I want to have this guaranteed. This wouldn't have been a bad idea, but I'm going to try and find her a marriage that is... Um, is going to survive the family line there. I don't think it is bad otherwise. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm just so happy that this boy survived. Uh, what's going on here? To the implacable king, dressed of pickland, I call by honor to honor our alliance in the sexo Reporian subjugation war. The enemies are this, Reporia and Knacht. Well, let me just accept that then, and let's beat Knacht into a pulp. Because if we do that, uh, my hook on you is gonna expire. My daughter's hook will expire? Uh, confused? Yes. What do, who do you all in prison, actually? Not worth the release. Very worth it to release. Negotiate the release, demand conversion, and recruit. Let's get ourselves an extra fighter. Not that worth to release. Eh, not that worth to release. Maybe when you've grown older. There you go. You hate my guts. Demand my conversion and forcibly recruited. But otherwise, you are now a champion of mine with 11 score, which is not too bad. You're pretty freaking old. Not sure if recruiting you is worth it. For free gold? Yeah, sure. Uh, both of you forced. Thank you very much. Um, getting ourselves some better champions. Free gold and free gold we have very easily in the pocket. But yeah, I think after beating up this little island, we're gonna go down Knacht and see if we can get raid some nice gentlemen over there. Alright, can we ransom you for some gold and it will be worth the time. Yes, 25 gold. Excellent. And then we're gonna go down here. Yes, we will not be directly helping with this war. But it will help. So are we the defender or the attacker actually? Attacking? No, attacking. Uh, so you're trying to subjugate this. And this is also an ally in this war? Oh, on the enemy's side. Right. But if you... I can do much work for you in Ba and ourselves by getting Knacht. I think that is a much better deal for us. We will be helping in the war. Nobody can complain about that. And furthermore, we will have the uh, shaman... Not a shaman, thank you. Uh, we will have the possibility to get some additional... Is this, cor is this correctly done? Yeah, it is correctly done. For a moment I thought it didn't take properly. Um, yeah, my hook on my own daughter expired. I'm the head of the, the house, am I not? Why does this expire? I'd be genuinely, genuinely confused. Ah, you've got yourself a boy. Excellent. Oh, but sickly. Ooh. Ah, and a boy of our family. May you grow strong and wise. Oh, I should really demand your conversion, but you're not into that. If I send you a gift, it will be 12 gold. I am willing to do that. Why? Because I might give him land at a certain point. Um... 
We still have some hirelings. The question is, can I get here by going this way and then going here? Yes, I can. Who's occupying this? You two are at war. Attacking. Okay, so you're also trying to get land. Interesting. I should actually send some normal levies with them so that the, the siege doesn't get... Uh, all of a sudden... Goes away when the, the mercenaries go away. Like the contract is about to expire. <laughs> I'm glad I looked. Hey, speaking of control... I think you, yeah, should do this first. Get this county back under full control. And we want to get you markets on the far side. Because we're mirroring things. Uh, maybe we want to get some more levies there. Oh, pick this warband. Yeah. There you go. Do it this way. Do we have a siege commander? A military engineer? As we found out the last time when I couldn't find it. No, I don't, but I can't put this man in power. In charge, I should say. Uh, this is an interesting thing. Why is the Isle of Man in here also attacking on behalf of these guys, apparently? I realize that due to the war score. Wasn't because I saw something secret over there, quick. I, I know how, how to employ both strategies, everybody happy. Uh, yeah, humble is just fine. There we go. Who do we capture? We capture a lady with a claim to Oriel. Um, Ransom is for 10 gold only? She must be your primary heir, isn't she? Yeah, I think that she's worth more than that. Thank you very much. I also would love to... Uh, could I move like this to that and then attack? No, that would actually give me attrition. I can't stand... If I split it one more time, I should be able to do that. Put the higher quality troops over there. That we can replenish. I think Knacht, after losing their alliance with Pictland, is in a downward spiral. By the way, just realized, you two have separated. I thought for a moment this was one and the same. Yes, the Isle of Man here. You died. Tanistry elective, that's why it went to somebody else. Oh, connect you. You're about to fall hard. Um, yeah, take this gold, that's fine. Ransom for 10 gold only, I find it well yours. Uh, sure, I can have a soulmate in my woman. She lays with me, but she's, by my knowledge, too old to still get a, a child at 47. Do I have seen them getting children at a later time in CK3 than I have seen in CK2? So, maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Now we're going to go towards Gallant. Why am I still losing supplies here? Go, go here then. You should really have enough supplies. There you go, you have enough supplies. Now at least go here then. Because this fort was just very recently taken. So it should not have like no defenders. At all. Yeah, there we go. And at least the other armies are now replenished. Welcome administration. Holding taxes increased. Well done, well done. And my brother at least now feels quite well about me. Which at first he certainly didn't. You are attacking him in the war against the tyranny. Sure. And if we siege down this, we could attack this small stack here and help out our ally. I, uh, I, I know that the episode is at an end. 
time. So let's just push like this and let's quickly go in here and try and boop him. And we now have somebody off connector. There we go. Start to get our first valuable. Um, sure, we'll increase his taxes. He's not going to enjoy it, but right now he's my... He is allied to me, so won't be able to do something about it. Um, yes! Gained the 75%. Uh, and there we go. We have sieged Knachta a lot. This has nothing to do in particular per se with this war. But it's not like I'm not doing anything. I am fighting. But I am fighting Knachta. Which is the funny thing. Now this I think is also held by Knachta. So if we siege it down here. We might get some very interesting prisoners from that. But for now, I say, I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.